Hi everyone, welcome back. We need to be free to walk in the freedom that Christ has made us free through the work of the cross. Isn't that wonderful? One of the aspects that's so important that we all need to understand is that when we were born in this natural world, we were born with our own personality. All of us were so different from one another. And as we grew up, around that personality, our character was formed by all the good things and all the bad things that we experienced in life, in our home background, in our school, in our studies, through our social activity, through relationship with peers and so on, our character was formed. And that's who we are. Then when we come to Christ and we're born again by His Spirit, we know, as we have heard, that we are free from the sin of the past and God has set us free from the power of the sinful nature. But the personality, the real Peter in the inside, is still there. But now my character needs to change. My character from what I was before Christ to the character that I need to be in Christ. That's why the Bible says that we're conformed or transformed into His image. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away and behold, everything becomes new. Now, I'm, I'm sure like me, you wish that was a, an overnight process. Wake up in the morning and there you are, your angelic face, your angelic behavior, and uh, the mighty man of God in the image of Jesus. Oh, that would be fantastic. Hmm. But it's not like that. You know that, I know that. So we need to keep ourselves in this place where of attitude of heart, where we're allowing God to work in us, to change us on a daily basis. You know, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 9, he says, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain. In other words, he's not hiding behind his old character. He's not saying, hey, get used to it. This is the way I am. You have to love me. You have to accept me. No, no, he's not saying that. What he is saying is that through the grace of God, God has access to his life through his word, through the ministry of the spirit, to lead him through situations that he can experience because he knew and he understood that all things work together for his good that he may be conformed and transformed into the image of Christ. As it was with the Apostle Paul, so it is with you and I. So I want to encourage you to keep that heart open for the grace of God allows you to come into his presence and experience his life-changing work so you can be free from the past, free from that old man, that old character, and from there comes the image of Jesus in you and in me. Isn't that great? Have a good day.